as late as the 17th century, people felt that comets were supernatural phenomena. They seemed to come about for no particular reason. They left for no particular natural reason, so they must have been sent by God as some kind of a, an omen. And the trick was to figure out what God was trying to tell us. Now that was a pretty common understanding of comets until Newton showed that you could account and predict the future appearance of a comet simply by treating them as a mass under the influence of the laws of gravity, the universal law of gravitation, the gravitational force from the sun pulling the comet into its very elongated elliptical orbit. It was a perfectly natural phenomenon. You didn't need to assert God's special intervention into nature. Now, did this undercut Newton's belief in God? Certainly not. Newton uh, simply felt that uh, the laws that God had put into nature, namely the universal law of gravitation, which he, Newton, of course, was brilliant enough to discover, and which he made sure everyone realized that he was brilliant enough to discover, this simply amplified his belief in God because the existence of that law in nature, as far as he was concerned, was an ind indicator that there was a lawmaker, namely God, who had built that particular phenomena into nature. So the fact that he gave a natural explanation for what people had thought to be a supernatural event didn't diminish his belief in God, mm -hmm. but it did require uh, an adjustment on the po on the point from the point of view of people who felt that God intervened in nature to bring that event about. Creationists often use the strategy of accusing evolutionary biologists in particular and the scientific establishment in general of being against God or even of being atheists. And they do this because they recognize that science doesn't use God as a cause to explain the origin of the universe, the origin or the evolution of life, or the emergence of species. But that's not a fair criticism. And it's not a fair criticism for a very simple reason. Questions of the supernatural are outside the realm of science. By not addressing them, science is simply realizing its own limitations. It's not saying that these are not real or that they do not exist. Many scientists, myself included, are people of faith, and they see their scientific uh, work and their scientific understanding as being in complete harmony with their religious beliefs. But that's entirely different from arguing that religion or faith itself is testable by the means of science. It simply isn't. I have an advantage that I presume is rare. On the one hand, I advanced degrees in science, and I'm a practicing scientist. Um, and on the other hand, I have degrees in theology, and I have dedicated many years to study religion and to study the Bible. And I can uh, put the two together in the sense that I see no contradiction in between science and religious beliefs. One can accept the theory of evolution and believe in God and accept moral values and vice versa. A person who believes in God doesn't need to reject evolution, can accept evolution.